we're going to start teaching our pup about cover. This pup is only nine weeks old, so a great way to introduce him to some field situations would be to some low cover, some puddle water situations. And since I'm his leader and his buddy and he trusts me, he's going to tend to follow me through these situations. So while it's fun to carry him around a lot, I do need to put him down on the ground and let him explore his world and let him follow me. And this is a great age to do it. We don't want to scare him or intimidate and really intimidate him too much. But we're going to work on some cover situations here. So as I put him on the ground, I'm just going to gently entice him. He follow me. And this is like a jungle to him. It's only uh, about shin high to me, but he's stepping in water already. He's getting his toes wet. And I'll call him. Hey, boy. There you go. And he's just going to tend to follow me. I'll let him explore. You want to teach your, your hunting dogs to get into the cover. you got to get ready to the cover with them. So I'll just walk around with him. I don't need to talk to him a whole lot. And he's exploring. And he's going into the water on his own. That's fantastic. If I want him in the water more, I'll go right in with him. There you go. And he's a youngster. If he doesn't want to do it too much at this age, that's fine. I'm not going to push anything. Might practice a hill up here and go into some different terrains. Yeah, boy. So he's getting to explore his world, and I'm his confidence. He's sniffing new things. For you. And the cover may get a little stick in here. Not just fall right through. Easier for him. And I have a sense of security in this situation, so he is going to tend to follow me. At this age, I like to take my puppies for walks. I like to take them out in the field for 10 or 15 minutes, challenge them into different situations. We do have some thorns right here. I don't need to go right through the thorn. We've got a terrain change, got some taller grass. And again, he's willingly following me. And if we're able to practice this every day for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I can go over some small stone walls. And we actually have a duck boat on the ground over there that I might be able to climb into. And he'll probably would follow, he would probably follow me right up into it. Go through deeper puddles. We're really teaching this pup to explore his surroundings. So when it's time to start putting birds out for him, it won't be anything new. And he's enjoying it. These sniffing things will keep going through cover here. Atta boy. Come on, duck. Good for you. I think we'll go back down to the water again. If you want to get him in the water, you go right in the water. There you go. Must not be too bad if I'm in here and I'm his fearless leader. Good for you. Pretty happy with that. I'd be a little happier if I had my tall rubber boots on, but it's a great opportunity for us to both get into the water and he's enjoying it. Good for you. There you go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. This little. Convincing there, a little enthusiasm on my part gets him going right through. So for a nine-week-old puppy, I'm really pleased with this. He's a great exercise, he trusts me, and um, he's enjoying himself. And that's what it's all about when you're working with your puppy in the field.